this is Cassie, AKA the Crafting Chef, bringing you another tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That Monthly Sublimation Box. For today's tutorial, we're working from our March 2022 box titled, Hello Spring. I was very excited when I saw this 16 by 16 inch poly linen ear pillow cover. This is so stinking cute. The reason why I was so excited when I saw it is because an ideal immediately came to me about what I could put on this pillow and who I could give it to. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is place a sheet of butcher paper on the inside or you can use a press pillow. I am using a press pillow. This is my preferred method. One, because it gives me even pressure on the um, pillow when I press, the cover when I press. And two, when you use um, butcher paper, sometimes the paper is a little hard to pull out after you press it. You can get it out with, with no problem, but it doesn't just slide right out. You literally have to uh, separate the pillow cover from the sheet of paper when it's on the inside. So I am going to use my press pillow today. I am going to place my design on the front and I'm also going to place something on the back. So this is going to be a dual pillow, uh, something for the kids and something for mom for home decor. So the first thing you want to do is take this over to your heat press. You're going to pre-press it and I'm going to do both sides because I'm putting a design on both sides. So I'll pre-press this for about five seconds. So sit tight and I'll be right back. So after pre-pressing, you want to take your lint roller and you're going to roll the area where you're going to put your design to remove any loose fibers. and I'll do the other side when I press it. Now, because I am placing my design here, I am going to also take a sheet of butcher paper and I'm going to stick it down in the pocket. And this is to keep my design from bleeding over. I haven't ever had an issue with the design bleeding, but um, I also don't wanna take any chances there. So I'm gonna place that here. So I have my design. And because my design is completely covering the pocket, I am not going to take this down when I take it over to the heat press. In place of tape, you can also use this Elmer's Craft Bond. This will create a temporary adhesive. And I love using this for fabric products, but today I am just going to go ahead and I press this just like this without using tape or the spray. I'm going to take this over to my heat press. I'm going to press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So I have completed the front of the pillow. Voila. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to flip it over on the other side. Again, I'm going to take my lint brush. I'm going to lint roll it. Put my design on there and sit it back on my heat press at 400 degrees 60 seconds all right so we are going to remove the backing oh it's so pretty so i want to show you all i left the butcher paper in here and i wanted to show you guys what i meant by it like sticking and you having to peel it out of the pillow so it does come out but it just doesn't slip right on out and so I'm also going to remove ooh, the heat press pillow it's actually still really hot ooh. sorry guys this is hot and there you have it front and back. So I am going to show you uh, the ideal I had to do once I saw this pillow. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Ta-da! 
Oh my goodness, guys. Tell me in the comments below how cute this is. It's a pillow Easter basket. So it has eggs. There's a little toy in here. Some bubbles. There's the smaller puzzle, the larger puzzle. Got some cotton candy. Another egg. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I used a, a 15 inch pillow form to put inside the pillow. If you are going to um, use this idea, I suggest using a polyfill instead of a pillow form because with the polyfill, you can determine how thick the pillow will be if you want to get more stuff in the pocket. And then maybe after everything's taken out of the pocket, you could insert a pillow form if you're going to put this on your sofa so once the kids are done taking everything out of this mom can just flip this over and she can use it as decor on the sofa so let me know what you think about this ideal in the comment below i am so excited i can't wait for my godsons to get this gift for easter and yes, this is great. I love it, love it, love it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.